My name is Sarah Hernandez and I'm from Hermiston, Oregon and I want to share with you what God has done in my life. I got married at a very young age and we uh, pretty quickly started to have babies. Um, unfortunately, I ended up having four miscarriages, which kind of led me into like a depression, which I started drinking a, a lot of alcohol and I started needing to drink before I would go to bed. I got pregnant with my fifth pregnancy and ended up having a one pound baby who was in the hospital for quite a while. Uh, during my sixth pregnancy, I actually went into bone marrow failure. Started to where I, I was needing blood transfusion. So bone marrow failure for me meant that my bone marrow stopped producing red blood cells. And so I started needing blood transfusions every two months to survive. After I had my baby, my, I continued to need blood transfusions. They were doing a lot of tests to find out what was wrong, and it actually took several years for us to discover that I was diagnosed with something called diamond black fan anemia, which caused my red blood cells to, to not produce. So on a daily basis, uh, when my blood count was low, uh, I really struggled to keep my house clean. I struggled to take care of my kids. I struggled to have the energy to take them to the park. I didn't have any energy. I couldn't, even just walking from one room to the next, I was short of breath. Uh, when I would, even when I would sleep, I started to question whether or not I would wake up because I could feel my heart racing. My chest would start to hurt. I felt like laying down. It felt like I couldn't, I couldn't fill my lungs with air and so I started to question whether or not this was even something that I was going to wake up from, if this was going to be the very thing that took my life. And so I even started to pray for my husband because I didn't think that I was make it, I would make it and I started to pray that God would send him a wife and that this wife would love my kids and that she would be a godly woman. But it started me on a journey where I was determined to find healing. And, and I began to really start to seek God in this. And I really started to, I started to pray and I started to fast. And I started to watch Pastor Vlad a lot. It was during COVID time. And so it was a lot of online watching, watching sermons on healing and just really anything that, that, that I knew the Word of God said that Pastor Vlad had suggested, I was gonna do that, you know? So there was a lot of praying and fasting and just seeking God. And I knew that the Race to Deliver conference was coming up. And so I was determined that I was gonna go to that. And so I went to Race to Deliver, it was in 2020. When I was there, we were standing in the line, in the prayer line, and I felt the finger of God. I felt a finger touch my forehead. But when I look at the video, I knew that nobody had touched my forehead. And so I knew that it was the finger of God that touched my forehead in that moment. But as that finger touched me, I started to scream, but in my mind, I was not screaming. So I knew that it was a demon. And the demon began to speak out and the demon began to confess that it had caused me to need these blood transfusions, that it had caused me to miscarry my babies, that it had caused me to be sick all these years. And that it, I knew in that moment, it was like the covers were removed. And all of a sudden I could see that, that Satan had been trying to destroy my life this whole time. And now I knew, I knew how real the spiritual realm was. I knew how real God was. And I knew also that God was going to heal me that day. And He did. I went home and my blood count began to increase and I no longer needed blood transfusions. It's now been three years since I've had blood transfusions and I have so much energy. My house stays clean. I'm able to take care of my kids. I'm taking my kids to the park. We're going on hikes. We're paddle boarding. We're living life to the fullest now. And I've been completely healed by the power of God. And just how He's done it for me, I know that He could do it for you too. And on this journey of healing, I would say the biggest lesson that I've learned is that the spiritual realm is real, that Satan is really out to kill, steal, and destroy us. But God 
is has come to give us life and to give us life more abundantly. And that if we will just seek Him and follow Him, He will do things for us that you could never think or imagine. He will give you a life that is 10 times better than you could ever imagine. It is so worth it to give up the world, to give up the things of the world, to live your life for God. You will not regret it.